cooking. Hey y'all, welcome back to another estrogen release video. I am Asia, and you guys, we are still in quarantine. Uh, as you guys know, I love quarantine. I don't mind staying in the house. I think that the biggest or the saddest, or maybe just the part that I miss about going out is restaurants. And I've been ordering, probably I try to treat myself once a week to Uber Eats. But I've been craving this place called Bear Burger. So a few videos back, me and my friend Sydney, we went to this place called Bear Burger. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch that video. But the restaurant was a completely vegan restaurant. I think it's completely vegan. But it was a vegan restaurant and the food was amazing. But I've been craving the burger. So Sydney is like really, like she's a vegan so she knows all the ins and outs. She was able to tell me all, basically all the ingredients. But I really need to know just the meat and the cheese. And so I got that and that's what I'm going to do for today's video. I am going to make, I want to call it DIY vegan McDonald's, but um, I don't think this is going to be close to McDonald's. I got some fries. I have real buns. I'm not going to put it on like regular uh, bread, which is pretty fancy of me. I have the actual burger and I have the cheese. So pretty excited i don't really like regular mustard and ketchup i do it because you know i don't hate it but i kind of prefer barbecue sauce and honey mustard so that's what i'm going to put on my burger today and yeah i'm just going to take you guys i'm just going to take you guys along the ride because i think the best way to do this is to start with the fries first because they need to bake for 14 to 16 minutes. I'm only going to do half of these because I don't need that many fries, but um, I hope there's no animal products in these. I'm not vegan, you guys. I just like eating vegan food, and so all the vegans is probably like this girl. And I don't know about you guys, but I like my fries really, really seasoned. So I am going to use pepper, seasoned salt, should I put a little bit of onion on there, I'm gonna do a little bit of onion, and um, I think I want to do a special seasoning, but I don't want to be judged, so I'm not going to show you guys which seasoning that is, but I'm going to let you know if the seasoning worked at the end, and I'll reveal it at the end, so. I am setting the timer for 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Once I get to the five minute mark on the fries, I'm going to start prepping the burger. This meat is actually really, really good. One thing that I was really shocked about is that it tastes like actual meat. Actually, I do have a setback. It stinks. It smells like booty hole. It, when I open this package, it's like somebody literally died. It smells like, like canned meat, I guess. When you actually cook it, it doesn't smell bad at all, so I truly can't complain. A few moments later. So something bad happened. I called myself trying to let this stuff defrost and I guess I let it defrost a little too much because now it's all pieced together. And so I don't know if I'm gonna have a burger now. So I'm pretty frustrated. So my bottom patty is gonna be garbage. I am determined to make the second patty work though. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it pieced together. Ugh. Eight cooking. I don't know who I'm gonna marry, but they're gonna have to deal with these bootleg meals that I create because that's just who I am. All right, how can I get this baked together? See, the thing is, I, it has this little sticky thing on it. All right, you wanna do it like that. <laughs> 
gonna put a little seasoning on that junk, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my bun. These burgers cook kind of fast. And so what I like to do, I like my buns to be a little toasted. So I get the bun, put a little butter on that junk, so I have like a nice little toast effect, so. Nice little toast effect. So I'm gonna put these burgers soon. Like when you start, get everything just goes so fast. Like everything feels rushed. Or maybe I should turn the skillet down. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna attempt to flip these burgers. I don't know how it's gonna work because they are kind of soft. Oh, that was actually pretty perfect. Oh, it gets so hot in my kitchen whenever I cook, and I don't want my noise to be, you know, off. So I don't want my my noise to be off with the fan. So I'm trying not to turn the fan on, but y'all, and I don't want to try to take this off because. The titties are swinging, so. Oh yeah, let me take the fries out. Ooh, where am I gonna put the fries? See, I didn't think this out. Let's just leave them in there for a little bit. Just let them sit, it's okay. So that was a freaking ordeal. Towards the end, everything kind of was like on like rush mode. The burger was cooking fast. The bun got kind of burnt a little bit. And then the thing is about cheese, vegan cheese, I guess it, since it's super processed, it doesn't really melt. So the presentation is not what I was hoping for, but now I'm gonna see how it tastes. And I'm actually kind of scared because it looked like I over seasoned, but let's see. Okay, the fries are definitely hard, but they're actually really good. I like that little seasoning combo I did. A little crunchy, but it's probably because I left them in the oven versus taking them out, but whatever. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna reveal the secret seasoning that I use, so. I know that's typically used for like um, fruit, but some days I just want like a little lime mixed with a little seasoning, like seasoned salt taste, so. I sometimes use that, but I typically don't like to tell anybody because I don't want people to think that I'm crazy. But it tastes really good on these fries. Now let's get into this burger. This is actually a really, really, really big burger. So let's see. It's good. I think I'm obsessed with the burger. The burger just tastes good. Like, I don't even have to put that much seasoning on it. It, uh, it tastes like real beef, like it's crazy. But yeah, y'all, there you have it. It was a semi-fail because the presentation wasn't um, on the level that I wanted it to be on, but the taste is good for the most part. It's not bear burger status, but it'll do. With that being said, mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye.